Hi, I'm Dr. Jasmine Chanel, and thank you for watching my channel. Today I'm answering your questions on vet school. For those of you who don't know, I attended Tuskegee University's School of Veterinary Medicine and graduated in 2015. I love Tuskegee, it's amazing, and if you're considering becoming a veterinarian, I strongly encourage you um, to put Tuskegee at the top of your list. They helped make my dreams come true, and I know they can do the same thing for you. But today's question comes from Navon. She is a senior allied health major at Florida A&M University in Tallahassee. Love FAMU. The Rattlers are great. Um, and she wants to know, how did I get experience before applying to vet school? And that's a really good question um, because you do need experience before you go to vet school. And most of the schools require a certain amount of hours that you actually work with a veterinarian before you apply. So the first question I would ask myself is how much time do I have before I'm going to apply to vet school? And um, the, th the second question I would ask is what type of experience do I need? So uh, in your case, if you're a senior or you're past your second year or a sophomore year of college, then you probably need to think a little bit differently than a person who's still in high school or about to enter college or in their first year. Um, you, in your senior year, you need to be thinking about shadowing a veterinarian. Um, in your community would be the easiest way, like your local area. And um, many veterinarians are receptive to students. They know students need to get experience. And I uh, suggest that you start with your personal veterinarian. If you have a dog or cat that you go to, ask that vet because you probably already have an established relationship with them if you can shadow them. A lot of them want help. Um, I started shadowing um, my my childhood veterinarian before I went to school. and. And it was amazing. Um, it was already great to work with him because I knew how much he loved my animals and I knew what an excellent uh, quality of care he gave them. So I felt um, very comfortable uh, working with him and he was very patient with me. And, you know, he kind of gave me the tips and tricks and the secrets. And, and that's what you want. That's really what you want. You want a mentor um, that can help you get into... Um, your program and you also want a letter so if you're going to be shadowing a person really consider um, asking them if they'd be willing to write you a strong letter of recommendation because you need a vet and unless you already had a vet uh, who was going to write you a letter you really do need a veterinarian to write your letter um, for your application in so I don't want to say kill two birds with one stone, but you know, just knock them both out together like that. Uh, another way to get experience, uh, other than like going to a, a animal hospital or animal clinic, the zoo. You can go to the zoo. A lot of zoos have volunteer programs, and depending on uh, the relationship you have with them, or if you've been in the program, a lot of a lot of times you'll get a chance to meet the veterinarians, and if you. Um, if, um, inform them that you are interested in applying to veterinary school or you really you know that you want to do zoo medicine uh, can you shadow them many of them will say yes and uh, you can get a letter from them you can get experience veterinary experience is veterinary experience regardless if you're working with a dog a cat a giraffe a pig a mouse you know it's all experience um, and if you're working with a veterinarian then it counts uh, another choice, um, Humane Society or Animal Shelter, uh, they, they commonly have veterinarians that work part-time, they'll come in and out, um, or they may have ambulatory veterinarians, so if you can get that veterinarian's contact information or show up on days when the veterinarian will be there, um, then you can shadow then. And then uh, your barn. So think about um, horse barns, um, the veterinarians that work there, or large barn, large animal farms like cows, uh, chickens, um, uh, sheep, pigs. 
any type of ambulatory large animal vet, if you can find one of them, I would I would jump the opportunity to go on another um, another ride with my clinicians from Large Animal Ambulatory. Not only do they have the best stories because you're riding for like maybe two or three hours out into the countryside, but they always know the best places to eat. Always. Like the little hole in the wall, the little, little juke joint spot that has the best peach cobbler and like mac and cheese and fried chicken. Amazing. Amazing. When I was in school, like, uh, we would find like pecan stands and loved it. So if you can get with a large animal ambulatory vet, do it. So next question you might be thinking, how much time uh, do it, should I work each, each, each week? And that really just depends on the practice and it depends on your schedule. If you have a lot of free time available, then I would let them know that and then um, kind of see what they suggest. They may, they may want you to come in every day, Monday through Friday, which is what I would do, uh, which is what I did for like a month. And I just worked the veterinarian's hours. So I, I worked from like... 7.30 or 8 to 6 um, every day, like Monday through Friday. Uh, or you could tell them that you um, only have a certain amount of time, you know, so can I come in Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Um, if you have another job, then you can work uh, maybe mornings if you have an afternoon job or evenings if you have a morning job. If you know you work all day, like a regular 9 to 5, then I would suggest looking at a emergency or critical care uh, hospital, a 24-hour hospital, because they're going to have a veterinarian there regardless of what time it is. So if you really are interested in shadowing and you don't mind doing that uh, 12 to 5 a.m. shift or that 2 to 7 or 8 a.m. shift, those are the shadowing and internship opportunities that are going to be golden because you're going to learn a lot and people are going to see the dedication that you have for the profession because you're there on your own time um, at the same hours they are and they're getting paid for it and you are just trying to get your foot in the door and I really think that'll leave a good impression so those are all the experiences I feel would benefit you for applying to veterinary school in the near future um, for those of you who haven't applied who haven't started college or at the beginning of your undergraduate journey, then I tell you embrace all internship opportunities regardless of if they're veterinary related or not as long as they're in the sciences. I did a fungal genomics and computational biology internship one year. I did a um, nuclear power plant wildlife conservation internship um, another year. Um, and then one year I worked at a goat farm. <laughs> so all of them I learned something from. All, all of the sciences are translatable uh, and transferable. So you can use those skills. And it's really interesting on your resume. And when people are reading it, they're going to say, oh, wow, it looks like she worked at an emergency clinic one, one week. Or, oh, this is really cool. Can you tell us about your experience when you were working at the cat fishery? So, all animals, all science, all great. Get a great letter from a veterinarian who has a DVM and is licensed. And make sure that they give you a strong letter. Ask for a strong letter recommendation. And as long as they say yes to the strong letter of recommendation, then you will be ready and you will be set. And if you don't have all the time to do all the hours, just do what you can because that is enough, okay? It is enough. And if you need to, you can always write in your letter, um, I worked all the way up into the deadline and these are the hours I was able to accomplish um, due to extenuating circumstances or I was working two jobs and and this is the amount of time that I could fit in but I was really dedicated because I really want to be in your program and they will appreciate that and they will appreciate your discipline and they will appreciate your sacrifice and it will be okay. Alrighty, so if you have a question um, 
I got a little deep there at the end, right? Uh, if you have a question, you can either leave it in the comments section, but I would love for you to follow me on Instagram at dr underscore Jasmine Chanel, um, where I have more information on how life is better with pets and information on future vets. And you can always shoot me a message there asking me um, advice on uh, vet school questions or something you want to know about basic knowledge and raising your animal. And if I use your question, I will definitely give you a shout out. So, thank you. <laughs> Bye.